Alright, cool. Welcome to Party Line on this Thursday edition. We're glad to have you. And we have a guest in the studio today. I want to introduce you to author uh, Robin E. Bremer, also known as, uh, can I say? Mm -hmm. Ribbons the Clown. That's right. Robin, good to meet you. feel like I know you a bit now after reading your book, and that's how it works, isn't it? it it's fun, too. That's, uh, that's how that goes. So you have a book. And it is uh, quite interesting about that. I mean, it is certainly, um, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's not just a, uh, a, a religious book. It's not just a Christian Unique. book. There's a lot of instruction going on, isn't there? A lot of scripture, a lot of uh, leading people to victory. That's the goal. Okay, leading people to victory. All right, so tell me, now along those lines, tell me when someone says, Robin, what's your book about? Um, it's about how everything about God is good. Everything about God wants victory for you in every part of your life, in your finances, in your health, in your home, in your family, in every part. God is a good God and He's working for you. And it's all about stepping into the kingdom, the power and authority He gave you, and creating heaven on earth around you. Okay. And for others. And she talks about it well, too. So, And I see a, a, as uh, uh, the cover of the book actually shows a picture of you as, uh, well, I'm, like I'm showing this to you now, like you didn't know. Ribbons like, the Clown. Uh, Ribbons the Clown. <laughs> right. And I think I have seen you perform somewhere before. How long have you been doing Ribbons? Uh, about 18 years. Eight, oh, I think there's a good chance. I should say how long have you and Ribbons been, been running around together, I suppose. <laughs> well, I've been in this area only about 10 years. Okay, so uh, the book is called Feed My People Joy. Is this your first book? This is my first book, but not my last book. Oh, so she has other ideas. So where did the uh, where did the inspiration? Well, this is going to be pretty easy, but so I just don't make an easy question. There. <laughs> uh, when did you start working on the book, and how long did it take, and what brought it on? Well, it's really unique how it started. I minister in clown in different churches, and as I minister, or as I clown for people, my motive is to show them the joy of the Lord. And I had come across uh, people that want to pray for them to be healed, and they'd have questions. So I'd write a little book that would answer all those objections and questions why they thought God didn't want to heal them. Mm. And this situation kept happening in different areas. So I created little booklets. And these little booklets, uh, in the process of time when God allowed me to, I put them together. And then the last six, not in the book, but six of the last chapters were written in the last six months. Wow. Now, see, and I can kind of see that as you, uh, as I was beginning to read, I could see that those were kind of starting out as, as questions answered and right. such as that. That does make and sense. And each chapter, you can read each chapter alone, and it'll stand by itself. I mean, it'll give you so much information and so deep of teaching um, that can change your life that it, if you just add on each chapter, it just adds on more information, but each chapter is life-changing by itself. And I can see uh, the reason you say that, and a lot of folks uh, will understand me when I say, you can't turn to a page anywhere in this book. You cannot open a page that doesn't have a scripture on it. That's right. and you know, the, More than one, usually. Yeah, more than one, because I like to, it's not my opinion. It's, it's backed up with the Word, because the Word is truth, and the Word is what changes people. Not my um, history, not my testimony of how, what Jesus did for me. But the word is what changes lives and brings them victory. Now, the, the title interests me, and I'll tell you why. Because a lot of people uh, throw the word joy around and not really understand a lot about it. But you're saying, feed my people joy. Well, tell me about the title. The title came about about 15 years ago. God gave me a prophecy, or what you would say is God spoke to me and said, as Ribbons the Clown, that my job was to feed his people joy. Because um, everybody thinks that God's sitting in heaven with a hammer and a pitchfork ready to hit you in the head or poke you on your back if you do something wrong. And that's not at all how God is. He, he wants to bless you. He, I, I don't even know if I should use that term. He just wants to give you everything that you need and desire because he loves you so much. That's nice. And so nice. because he told me to feed his people joy and, and laughter is a, a way of showing joy, that's how the title came about. I struggled with it quite a while, and he said, "Just that's what I told you to do. That's what the book is all about, the joy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if you have a question, audience, you know you're welcome to call on Party Line, 918-423-1460 or toll-free, 1-800-477. Three three two seven. Now let's get into a little bit more deeper here in just a moment. I want to tell you before we take a break. I'll tell you what I'm going to look at. Tell me how Ribbons the Clown was born, and <laughs> and tell me what she has to do specifically with the book. Okay. 
All right. She's on the cover. I realize uh, that uh, that uh, ribbons has a lot to do with this. Obviously. Well, well um, no, hang on. That's just a teaser question. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a teaser question. A quick break. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Don't go away. Welcome back. We're talking with Robin Bremer, uh, Ribbons the Clown. The book is called Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. And um, we're going to tell you where you can find it and where you can find excerpts and information. As a matter of fact, Robin may even read for us here in just a moment. But the questions I asked before break was, tell me a little bit about Ribbons. Where did she come from, Ribbons the Clown? Well, Ribbons was created about 18 years ago. I was in a store waiting in line with birthday money to buy something and I saw balloon animals so I said I'm gonna try them so I was waiting in line and this lady behind me saw it and she says oh are you a clown and I said no and she said she was so she took me under her wing and she she taught me how to make balloon animals she made my very first puppet Nicky monkey which now I have a, a different one a professional one but she made Nicky monkey my first puppet and she <laughs> loaned me a bunch of books and she got me excited about clowning that is neat. And you decided to uh, kind of, uh, Ribbons is, uh, as you say, does kind of minister work. You go to, mm -hmm. you go to churches and events right. like that, right? Right. I do uh, street outreaches. Nice. I go in the street and uh, tell people about Jesus. I uh, go under a canopy and sell balloon animals and give them a coloring page that tells them about how Jesus loves them. And then I go into the churches and I actually minister uh, or work more with adults than children. Okay. Everybody, because I'm a clown ventriloquist, puts me in with children, but actually I'm to be in with adults, and I'm like the main church service, and it's all about uh, joy and the goodness of the Lord. And I use puppets and balloons and sometimes juggling and singing. I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> and um, so I can torment them, sing opera. And so I use that variety, a lot of audience participation, and within that is woven the Word of God, and they might not even realize they're hearing it. Uh, tell us where we can find the book and information on you. Well, you can order the book at Christian bookstores, and um, they will order it for you. And you can order it at, uh, like, Borders or something. But the fastest way to get it and the least expensive way to get it is through, like, Amazon.com. Amazon.com. Or now, we have listeners who don't have Internet, too. They can call uh, my business phone, which is 405-584-1579. I will hang on to that. I've got it right there. Okay. And Amazon, you know, I think most of us have heard of that one, so right. it's easy to get to. And actually, they can read about 30% of it free on smashwords.com. Interesting. Now, if they go to the web page, they can find all this information. On, my, me, on my website, yeah. Show me the and, web page. Um, it's uh, ribbons, R-I-B-B-O-N-S, theclown.com. Ribbonstheclown.com, exactly like you think it would be spelled. Right, right. Ribbonstheclown.com. And they, there's a trailer on there that talks about the book uh, that you can watch. I have uh, th Ways to Witness. I have all kinds of information, free teaching. Uh, I have five chapters on there free uh, that they can download. Well, I have to ask, if they go there as well, if they're interested in Ribbons coming to visit their church or organization, do you uh, you have contact information right. there for them? They um, Also, if they have, like want a birthday party or something um, or have an event, there's prices there. Cool. Uh, but like with churches, I don't have a set fee, however they're led to give and outreaches, whatever. You know, all you the said, information's there. You're not really uh, geared toward children. You you speak to adults. Right. But I do well. a lot of, I end up doing a lot of vacation Bible school and um, ministering to children too. But I'm so more, it's more like family oriented is really okay. what I'm called. Because I'm a ventriloquist and a clown. And I like ventriloquism. That's cool. I can't do any of it, but I love to watch it. Love I, to watch it. I'm, my mouth isn't as good as Jeff Dunham, but I'm funny. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, not no. funnier. No, that is Really, really one of the hardest questions, but I will try to be quick. <laughs> I, yeah, right. I, I have like four favorite chapters. Okay. I, I know that the chapter on love is really important because people don't realize how much God loves them. But for me personally, my favorite chapter is the kingdom power in the Holy Spirit. Because when people have the Holy Spirit, um, and that's chapter um, three, page 40, uh, chapter four, page 52. Okay. Because the Holy Spirit is so vital to these end times. Um, and there's so much fear going around. The Holy Spirit is so important. And then the other, the other chapter I really like is Two Kingdoms on Earth, because, uh, and that's the next one, because there are two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of God, which is through um, Christians, and then there's the kingdom of Satan. That's why the world is such a mess. Um, and that one's really eye-opening. And then my... All right, let's find out. Robin, does she want to know if you have a denomination or you're non-denominational or what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, well, as far as... I'm just uh, sharing the Word of God and what Jesus shared with me. I don't um, 
push or follow any particular denomination. I just do what the Word of God says. It says that these signs will follow those who believe, and I believe. And it says that we will lay hands on the sick, we will cast out demons, we will cleanse lepers, we will raise the dead. Um, and this is what we should be doing. And, and my book in the chapter on raising the dead goes over that. That's one of my favorite subjects because it's so... It's so hard for us to get grasp on it. It sometimes. is. It is. I admit fully, it is very hard to get a grasp on that one. Well, uh, did you? Were you able to find a chapter? I gave you about yes. thirty seconds. Yes, were you I able did. To find a place you'd like to read. Okay. Well, there's so many. It's like okay, um, but I'm reading on chapter 18, the kingdom and times awakening and a revival, um, and I'm kind of starting in the middle of something. But um, it's explaining about the gospel. It says the gospel means good news. That's what the gospel is. Good news. News is something that has already happened. Everything about the gospel is good news. Jesus wants you to live on earth as you will in heaven. He did everything for you so that you could have an abundant life. If the gospel was just for us to get saved and go to heaven, then we would die right now after we got saved. Our mission is to take the dominion over all the devil's works. Read Genesis. The gospel is also that we have restored fellowship with our Father, which means we are to look and act like our Daddy. We are to have a show-and-tell gospel as a witness that Jesus is alive and loves the people of the world. This whole book is about understanding the kingdom and what it's all about. Okay. And that's a pretty good definition of what the book is about right there. How about that? And, and she mentioned some of the chapters. All the chapters uh, really have the word kingdom. Right, right. Explain that for me. Well, um, Jesus said... The kingdom of God is at hand. And he said the kingdom of God is within us, and the kingdom of God is within us in power. Those are all scriptures. And he went about preaching and showing the kingdom. And what he showed was he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he cast out demons, he cleansed the leopards, he preached the good news to the poor. Another subject that people get upset about, God does not want us poor. <laughs> is Feed My People Joy. People can find out about it on their own if they would like to. Mm -hmm. I'm just presenting. I love to interview authors from uh, Southeast Oklahoma. Now, you said this is your first book, but not your last. Are you right. working on another one now? Right. Um, my husband and me rode a bicycle built for two across the United States. How about that? Um, and it was it was a mission trip, so we shared Jesus, but um, we rode for 4,600 uh, 4, miles Good and a bicycle good. built for two. And it took us 81 days. And uh, we have a website. It's called Us For Him. And on my, also on my website, you can go to that. Release and that's my, com. Check it out. Our, our co-doing that together. Where my that's husband neat. is funnier than I'm. I'm the clown, but he's funnier. And so he shows pictures from the bicycle trip um, and tells stories about it. We have raccoon stories and bear stories <laughs> and snake stories and all kinds of funny stories, provision stories. We had no money at one time and just how awesome stories. So this is going to be the next book. Right. And I'm also working on a coloring book for that goes with Feed My People Joy for children. Neat. And, and that will be on my website. But that won't be a, a published book like this. That will just be something that they can download. That's great, though. Okay. Now, we're out of time, so I've got to tell you. Here's the contact number. If you uh, don't have internet, it's 405-584-1579. And I'll hang on to that phone number, okay? And uh, easiest, as you said, was Amazon.com? Amazon.com is a Best price and fastest. Best price and fastest for you. And it's going to be around eighteen ninety nine. is that correct? Uh, again, eighteen ninety eight. So right around there. Right, right around there. It could be less depending on, you know. Let me be having a sale right, over there. Right, right. Okay. Ribbonstheclown.com, and I do have that phone number. If you need any of that information, you're welcome to call me later for it. Robin, we appreciate you being in. You're infectious, and it's fun to talk with you. Well, thank you.